Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. So now we have reached the end of the course here in this Angular. So um, learning means there will be lot and lots or lots of things to be there to learn in Angular. But major part of the things is completed. We have covered all the concepts. Now coming to the deployment thing. So deployment thing. So where how we can do is so right now we are using ng serve so that the local build server so web server will be launched and so that we will be uh, launching that one using localhost 4200 so this is the th thing how we are using now if you go to the network and if you see so these are the file sizes so if we refresh this one deep you will be able to see now these are the file sizes for who you are 3.2 mb these these are ideally not suitable for the production build development why because so 3.2 mb that means it is uh, it is showing lot of impact what is happening here is actually you will be having two types of uh, compilation in the angular actually just in time compilation so sometimes you used to get the errors thing so we need we will be running again ng server just in time compiler and ahead time compiler okay aot compiler we will be saying what is this just in compiler is just in time compiler what it will do is for example see we are writing a template code so we will be writing a template code so that means uh, in the ca in the html file we will be writing in that template we will be using ng if ng for these are all the types of uh, directives we are using these directives will not be understood by the browser these directives and all those things will be understood by the angular only now what is happening here is the angular will take angular compiler will take this all html and all those things it will come the angular compiler will compile the template and it will convert it into the html and the typescript compiler what it will do is the typescript compiler will compile all the typescript code and all the things it will come compile to the javascript and these are the things so Java, javascript code which is understood by the browser so up to here no problem now after this one you will be having another concept this is nothing but just in time compiler what is just in time compiler will do is so it will it will be injected along with our code so that means what will be having this just in time compiler it will be having along with the js files so this is written in the pure javascript file javascript code how so this uh, this one will be used in the js file so that means along with our project this just in time compiler angular code is also embedded embedded in our project code so that is the reason we are getting so much of file size what what is this just in time, time just in compiler just in time compiler code will do is it will compile the code in the browser in the runtime okay so this is a huge file and the and we will be having a little bit performance delay because of this uh, just in time compiler code why because our project is there so our project means is a little bit a small project only so along with our project we are appending again the just in time uh, angular will append again the just in time compiler code with our project it will compile into the big javascript file and it will give it to the browser so but in the production we don't need this uh, just in time compiler and these all angular compiler we don't need why because we need to keep the file size minimal as minimal as possible so for this one we have another option that is nothing but ahead of time compiler ahead of time compiler what it will do is it will remove the angular compiler just in time compiler and all those things and it will and it will compile at the pre uh, at the time of execution only at the time of execution only it will compile all the things and it will compile into js file so so it will contain only our project code okay so this just in time compiler what it will do is so if you want uh, where it will be used it will be useful in the what i can say in the pro in the development process so in order to get the errors in order to show very variable errors and all those things so just in time compiler will be useful but in the production mode we don't need those type of things so ahead we'll be using ahead of time compiler so in order to get this added head ahead of time compiler what we'll be doing is so we need to remove this one and we need to run ng build hyphen hyphen prod okay ng space build hyphen hyphen space hyphen hyphen prod we'll be running this one so what it will be doing is it will compile all the files and also it will not keep the just in time compiler what is that angular compiler in our code so it will compile here only and we will be not having any local development server here and everything will be removed only the project everything will be compiled and it will be placed here so it will take some time to compile the code and after compiling you will be having the without angular template code we will be having all the code 
so let's see what will be uh, what will happen after ng build hyphen hyphen prod if you see here ng build hyphen hyphen prod if i do so i am able to compile all the files now if you see here where it will be generated is it will be generated in the dist folder okay so in this dist folder you will be able to see that a folder has new folder has been created with name angular routing so the name of the project in this one you will be able to have way lot more files so if i reveal it in the explorer okay if i open this one in the explorer if you able to see you able to see this one okay so this is the dist folder you will be having and here you will be having the list of files okay so these are the files what we will be having so we are having these are all the files so these are all the files which we need to deploy in our server and if you see the file sizes each file size we will be having 3 kb 4 kb like this okay so uh, sorry 3 not 3 kb 300 kb like this i will show you if you if you see here you will be are having main.js is only 337 kb and 141 kb like this you are having only the file sizes are only little bit lesser okay so this is how we will be compiling the code in the project okay it was the angular project will be have compiling so this one is nothing but what we can say is aot compiler ahead of time compiler so ahead of time compiler in the production so we need to run it in the production so that the angular compiler just in time compiler and all those things will be removed and you will be having only the bare project what we have developed okay so this is how we will be building the project so by this so we are we have most of the most of the concepts we have covered in the angular so some things will be remaining so if i get anything i will be covering in the next next videos so by this one we will be completing the entire uh, entire angular course so this this is a, ba a basic of the complete angular course so by learning this one you will be able to have a moderate knowledge on all this angular project you can develop the angular project on your own and you can develop the angular project on your own. hope you will be having a best feature in your career with the angular course so uh, anyways so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video so that i will try to give the reply and last but not least last last but not least so please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you